In this video, we are going to prove that log base some base b of a plus log base the same base b of c is equal to log base b of a times c and that log base b of a minus log base b of c is log base b of a divided by c. And before I begin, I want to make sure we understand what logarithm is. Log base b of a being equal to x is telling you that b raised to the x power is equal to a. This thing is asking you what do we, this thing is something that we have to raise the power which we have to raise b by in order to get a. So this thing is power we have to raise, raise b by to obtain a. So log base b of a is x is telling you if we raise b by power of x, you get b to the x being a. And this is definition. This is definition of logarithm. So logarithm is inverse of exponentiation. So now let's get to proving this. So for the first one, log base b of a plus log base b of c is log base b of a times c. Let's let log base b of a be x and log base b of c be y and log base b of a c being z. So if we can prove, so if we can prove x plus y is equal to z, we are done. So let's try to do just that. So we know b to the x is equal to a, b to the y is equal to c, and b to the z is equal to a times c. Hey, we know what a and c are. a is b to the x, and c is b to the y. So this thing is equal to b to the x plus y. So we know b to the z is equal to b to the x plus y. The bases are the same, and when you exponentiate it, we know these two are the same. So that's telling you the exponents have to be the same. So you know z is x plus y, and we have proven that x plus y is z. So log base b of a, which is x, plus log base b of c, which is y, gets you z, or log base b of a c. So first one, we are done. So now let's try the second one. And uh, oh, okay, so we did the first one. Now let's try the second one. And as you can see, by rewriting logarithm in terms of exponentiation and using properties of exponentiation, you can prove many, many, if not all of logarithmic properties. So let's apply the same thing. Let's let log base b of x, b of a be x, log base b of c be y and log base b of a over c be z. So you want to prove x minus y is z. So we want to prove this. So we know, we know b to the x is a, b to the y is c, and b to the z is a over c. We know a is b to the x, c is b to the y, and this thing is equal to, using properties of exponentiation, b to the x minus y. Hey, b to the z is equal to b to the x minus y. So z is equal to x minus y. And we prove this, and we are done.